In this video, we're going to talk about the Matchbox Max Effects Freddy from A Nightmare on Elm Street. Welcome to the Swear Wolves Horror Podcast YouTube channel. I'm Brett. If you're a returning subscriber, I just want to thank you for coming back. If you're new to this channel, I want to thank you for stopping by. Please consider clicking the subscribe button as well as that notification bell below. We upload videos on a regular basis in which we review anything and everything horror, from action figures and toys to soundtracks to various collectibles, you name it. And today we're talking about Matchbox's Max FX, Freddy from A Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, Max FX, <laughs> he's a, he's a, quick change artist and master of special effects. This was a line of toys, well, let me backtrack. This is just one toy, but it was supposed to be a line of toys. It could be Dracula, the Wolfman, a Creature from the Black Lagoon, Frankenstein's Monster, even Jason Voorhees, and uh, the Alien. Lights, camera, there's a man called Max is in the special effects. Special effects. Hey, Fred, thought you were dead. Put your face on, Jason. Special effects. Special effects. Going werewolf to the cave, man. Looks so fine like Frankenstein. Special effects. Special effects. Dracula spectacular. Coming soon. Creature from the Black Lagoon. Watch out, my man coming out of your tummy. The alien. Get your hands on the man called Max. He's got special effects. Special effects. Max FX costumes, figures, and special FX theater, each sold separately. New from Matchbox. The only one they ever came out with was Freddy. Freddy Krueger from A Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, I... I want to just, if you want to know the history of this, it's actually kind of interesting um, if you're into that kind of stuff. Um, the, a good video was made by a YouTube channel called Analog Toys, and it's the history of Max Effects Toys, the world's best R-rated action figure. And in that video, um, the host of Analog Toys, he tells the story. It's only about a six and a half minute video, but he tells the story of how it went from concept to being bought by Matchbox and how it ultimately failed miserably. Um, we're not gonna get into that, we're just gonna talk about the figure itself, so let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Okay, so before we talk about the figure, let's actually talk about the accessories that come with this and make this uh, the Max FX special effects artist. So his uh, accoutrements, if you will, his bag of tricks. Uh, we'll start with the head. Uh, sculpt so we have a front and a back side to the head now in all reality I think this is a really good Freddy Krueger face sculpt uh, for all things considered I think it really looks good it really gives uh, you the understanding of who it's supposed to be it kind of looks like Freddy Krueger I mean it does look like Freddy Krueger but it kind of looks like a more realistic Freddy Krueger than I would have thought they would have done so props to that except for the the pink lips I don't know maybe that's part of Max's special effects arsenal he adds pink lips uh, this is the back of the head and it's got some weird scar brain tissue brain matter showing whoops anyway as you can hear they are made of hard plastic and they just kind of snap together to form this head and this will go around uh, the Max figure once we put it all together. So we're gonna set the head pieces aside. I'm gonna set those aside. The next would be uh, the hands. So first we have his uh, left hand, which just clips on over his hand that comes with the figure. Now, one thing I'll say about this, and this is gonna come into play with the hat and the boots as well. Anybody who collects more vintage toys might know uh, that this type of plastic it gets this sticky the older it gets it gets very sticky it's got some sort of residue on it I remember the old wrestling figures from the 80s they get really sticky like this too I don't know how to get rid of that so if you have any tips or tricks on how to get rid of the sticky residue from this type of 
plastic or almost like rubber uh, please put it in the, actually this is rubber please put it in the comments below because I'd love to try something out without ruining the figure of course but uh, anyway this is his left hand and as you can see it looks like it's burnt and decayed it's pretty good I mean I don't have a problem with it and again more on that when we clip it to his actual left hand and then of course on his right hand he has the glove which you know being in the package for so long has a little bend to it but this is all just very soft rubber here on the tips and then this is that same rubber that they used on the hand which is this uh, a little bit stronger rubber but it's got that sticky film all over it so this will just go over his hand on the right side uh, next we have his hat which just goes uh, obviously on top of his head but this is a signature Freddy accessory and then these are his boots, which are really big. <laughs> I mean, he's got a huge foot. It's the size of his arm um, that you'll just slip his, his foot. I mean, he comes with shoes on, but then you put these boots on. Freddie also has a wardrobe that he wears, uh, kind of a specific outfit. These are just black denim-ish type pants that will just go on in place of the blue jeans that Max has. And then of course we have his signature sweater that he wears. Um, this is just Velcroed in the back for easy on off. And then it looks like Freddy Krueger's sweater, just brand new, just bought from the store. So good there. Let's talk about the figure itself. <laughs> Let's talk about the articulation first, uh, head, moves just back and forth. It's not on a ball joint, it just moves back and forth. M much like a Barbie, I would say, uh, in the feel, except for the head's not that soft rubber that an old Barbie would have. The arm at the shoulder is on a ball joint. We have uh, bendability in the elbow. Oh, his shoe just fell off. That's what his shoe looks like. Um, we'll show you his foot then. Uh, bend in the elbow, and then the wrist turns and has a kind of a ball joint there too. So that's actually kind of cool. It does swivel at the waist and bend. There actually is pretty good articulation on this figure. Uh, we got the hips and the knees, and then of course the foot, which is on a swivel like this. So actually pretty decent articulation and his other shoe just fell off. He wears loafers, apparently Max. He likes his loafers with no socks. I mean, it was the eighties. He's a big fan of maybe Miami Vice. Um, so let's, st we'll start at the bottom then since it's, you know, I mean, it's a foot. It has detail like a foot, so that's kind of cool. Um, his legs, you know, just typical legs. He's wearing jeans. No pockets or anything, just a denim look. And he has this kind of, I don't know, mock turtleneck. Uh, short sleeve yellow shirt on, pretty generic. The hand sculpt is just a typical solid hand sculpt there. The fingers don't have any separation. They're all glued together, but that's because when we stick this on, this will this will have to fit, uh, this hand will have to fit inside that hole. So uh, the head sculpt, okay. So the hair is sculpted hair. It's very, um, if I was gonna compare this to a Barbie doll, it's not, maybe a brand Mattel Barbie doll. It's more of like a dollar store Barbie doll in the feel to it. Like, you know, a grandparent who stops at the dollar store on their way over to visit their grandchildren just to say that they brought them a present. That's this Barbie doll. Um, that's what it feels like. <laughs> the eyes, Max looks scared. Less. Um, his eyes are bugging out. He's wired, he's on something. You know, he's in Hollywood, man. He's doing something. That's why his lips are all white, too. Pretty weird paint job on this. But, again, I, maybe this is due to the fact that it's 30 years old at this point. Uh, over 30 years old. Maybe some something faded along the way. But the, <laughs> this paint job is kind of scary. Max looks pretty freaky. And there is a little bit of a, a mist paint right there. A little smudge this is brand new out of the box so I mean 
if I was going to rate this on a scale of one to five Pamela Voorhees heads just for the sculpt, I'd probably go like two and a half-ish. It's very middle of the road, very cheaply made, but you know, it was for six-year-olds. So a six-year-old's going to put this thing through the ringer. I don't know how long these joints would have lasted. The joints would have lasted. The joints would have lasted. With a six-year-old bending them and playing with them and, you know, putting him in different adventures, probably would have ended up with pretty loose joints. But, you know, that's just the name of the game with six-year-olds and toys. I will say this. It stands really nicely. He doesn't even have his shoes on. He, he balances uh, very nice. Uh, with the shoes on it's even better and i'm imagining with these boots on it'll be even better so why don't we go ahead and do this let me change his clothes out uh, i'll do that off camera because that'll probably take a minute but i'll change his clothes out and then we'll put all the accessories on on camera all right so we got max changed into his freddy krueger outfit these pants might appear to be a little bluish maybe navy but they are black um just so you know, the camera might make them look a little bluish. But he's got his old clothes and his loafers all tidily put away over here. But uh, this is what he looks like in the outfit. It did take a little finagling to get the outfit on. Uh, granted, I'm trying to be a little ginger with it. Uh, so this is Max in his gear. So let's go ahead and put the other stuff on. Uh, we'll leave the head towards last. Let's start with the boots, these uh, sticky boots here. So. My guess is we can just slide his foot in like so. It's not really easy to do. All right, Max, how do you how do you get your foot in here? I mean, maybe it just bends down like that, doesn't go all the way flat. He just kind of points his toe like a ballerina. That might be how it's supposed to be done. Give them some added height. I don't know, there's no directions. So it's just kind of up to the kid to guess or the adult in this case. But there he is, you can already see. On camera, that just happened. All right. We got that all taken care of, but uh, I'm gonna be very gentle with this. I, I might have to put some uh, glue on there because I believe that it just, I tried to snap it back in and I thought it did, but then it came loose again. So who knows? Uh, let's just hope it doesn't happen with the other stuff. So uh, we'll put his hand on, which just should clip on right there, just like that. And then we'll put his glove on, which should again, just clip over top of his already existing hand. If I can get it on there, there you go. Okay, so he's got his glove on, he's got his boots on, uh, he needs his head on. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, put the back side of his head on. How do you get this on over the sweater? Oh, and this leg is gonna fall off again. This is uh, turning into a hot mess. Okay, we're gonna unbuckle his this. And we're gonna put that on there. And we're gonna spin him around. Oh, Max. Uh, what is this figure? It is a mess. Okay, and then we're gonna do, this has gotta go over that. And then the sweater can go over this neck. Get Velcro on. Legs falling off. And then the hat. <sighs> That's the Max FX Freddy from A Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, I'm happy I got it. I will say that I really like, I think it's a nice little talking piece. I will probably pose him very much like that guy. 
maybe have him holding on to the mask and with the glove up if I can try to get it like that maybe I'll put his loafers back on instead of those big ass boots I don't think it's a good figure concept five out of five Pamela Voorhees heads execution two maybe one and a half because I don't know what kid has the patience what six-year-old at least has the patience to sit here and do all this stuff you'd have to make it a lot easier to take on and off the clothes you'd have to make it a lot easier to um, just do everything I think they got it right with the hands and the head maybe but the clothes and the boots the boots I would almost have rather had them be stuff that goes over these shoes like um, kind of like the hands that just kind of maybe clip on or like the head that just clip on and that would probably be better uh, in my book but all in all overall about a three and a half so that's the matchbox max effects freddy from a nightmare on elm street i hope you like this uh, if you did like this video, please click the like button below. Also, if you haven't yet subscribed and you feel so inclined, click both the subscribe button as well as that notification bell. We are the Swearwolves Horror Podcast, and we do a weekly show in which we review horror movies. So please check us out by searching for The Swearwolves wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts. You can also visit our website at theswearwolves.com. So for The Swearwolves, I'm Brett. Hi, this is Brett with the Swearwolves, and when I'm not busy editing videos or making content for YouTube, I just sit here and wait. And wait. If you like the video that you just saw, go ahead and check out that video right there. And if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and click that button right there. I'll wait.